guys, it's Brogues here, back with another Far Cry 5 video. In this video, I will be discussing this week's live event, Friendly Fire, and telling you the easiest way in which you can complete it. Now, firstly, this event involves getting kills with your guns for hire. Now, there's several ways you can do that. The easiest way I've personally found is to go into your outpost master, reset all your outposts, and just attack one of the outposts. It's really that simple. Now, in terms of guns for hire, there are two easy picks for this. The first one is Boomer. He's going to be able to scout out all those peggies and make them easy targets for you, then to select them to be attacked by your second gun for hire, who will be... Nick Rai. Now, Nick Rai is incredibly effective for this role for many reasons. One of them being because he has both bombs and machine guns, he is equally adept at taking down peggies on foot or in vehicles. Second of which is because he is so fast moving, he's quite hard to take down for the peggies, so you don't have to worry about crashing and then having to revive them. Now, for this, I was able to get this week's live event completed in a little over four minutes. And I was able to get the reward for this week, which is the Ryan Sons MP34. Now, a little information on this gun. The MP34 is a submachine gun first produced in Germany and, of course, 1934. And was known for its incredible quality, which saw it actually continue to be used by some forces until well into the 1970s. Now, the closest weapon we have to this gun already in the game is the MP40, which just so happens to be the successor of the MP34. Now, if you look at the stats, you'll see the only thing that's slightly different is that the MP40 has plus one handling and minus one rate of fire, meaning the MP34 actually has a higher DPS. Now, the MP34 comes as standard with a 32 round mag, which can be upgraded to 40 rounds. Now, that uh, fire rate is actually incredibly controllable, as you'll see in this footage. For this week's live event, I'm going to give it a D plus rating. Basically, the pros are there's a really, really nice, unique weapon. Now, MP34 is both a uh, punchy, it's a unique looking weapon. I really like the cool uh, and a war weapons. I really think the game would benefit from adding more of them in it. The uh, things count against it. It's a terrible total. You only need to get 10 kills to complete this week's live event for a weekly event. It's not a lot. It's extremely easy, like literally having us like capture outposts only using our guns for hire that get the kills, I think, in my personal opinion, would have been a lot better. And again, there's no replayability, there's no gaining excess skins for the gun for going over the top of this. I mean, the outfit at the end, it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Now, that was my views on this week's live event. If you want to have your say, please feel free to comment down below and indeed give me your rating for this week's live event. If you found this video at all helpful or informative, please feel free to drop us a like or indeed subscribe to the channel.